and he is expected to be one of the weekend starters for this Louisville pitching rotation. If you're St. Bonaventure. 3-2 is two hopper right back to the pitcher. So a nice start for, oh, Tchaikovsky. He airmails air mails the throw, and off to the races goes Moore. On to third. Maybe wanted to take home. Pretty much been a regular player in the lineup so far. As Benson sends it into left center and drives home the first run of the game. Benson wants extra bases. He did not slow whatsoever, and it's a double for JT Benson. So he's been on base a ton, and off he goes for third. The throw down is late. Jackson DeJohn, one of the best defensive catchers in the Atlantic 10, could not catch Benson because he got a heck of a jump. Now it's Matt Klein with the slow roller right side. That'll get the job done. A productive out for Matt Klein, bringing home Benson. Cut and a miss. There you can see the stuff. Strikeout to John. And Davis has the first hit for St. Bonaventure. Hard grounder left side cut off the glove of Beard. I'll go down as a single. Couple of singles for St. Bonaventure. Swing and a miss. He went to all reliable his fastball right over the outside edge and Ranky was behind. I'd say so. Thought about it. Did he go? He did not and it's ball four on the bases. David Marshall sends it through the left side. St. Bonaventure with a chance to tie the game. Throw from left field is off the mark and it gets through to the backstop. Marshall on to second, and St. Bonaventure here in the third has tied things up. And Forbes makes a great play on the mound. Came right back to him, able to field it beautifully. And the 2-2 is a flare into the shallow outfield and falls over the head of Alisea. That's the fifth hit for St. Bonaventure. And first and second, nobody out. Davis squares down the bunt, it will stay fair. This is a tough play, Napleton gets around on it, throws, and completes it. Job done for Davis, but Napleton with a heck of an effort just to get an out. And fields in for Louisville. And Menino shoots it out to center field, it gets past Moore. The diving try didn't work out, and here comes Little hustling home. Two more for St. Bonaventure, and confidence growing in the fourth. Breaking ball lifted into shallow right field. Eddie King Jr. comes in, just advancement for one base. Menino had to wait, but another hit, the fourth this inning. Cutting him is for Ranky, his second strikeout, and the first for Corbett. Two strikeouts in a row to end the inning for Corbett. It's over 50 pitches, and Luke Napleton leading off, has a leadoff single. Decent pitches, that one got away from him though. And Eddie King sends it into left. Napleton with a head start, jogging on to third. That's a great battle and a great at bat for Eddie King Jr. Sure is, really difficult play. Keelan got hit. Major trouble for Tchaikovsky now. Beard swings, skies it out to right field. This is slicing towards Ranky, who makes the catch. Napleton will tag, Louisville will score, Eddie King Jr. advances to third, and a productive out for Logan Beard, the sacrifice fly, cuts the lead in half. Snap throw down to first base, and they got him. From experienced guys that Dan McDonald has been frustrated by, as Ali Saya puts a charge into it into center, and that's it. Just a real genuine guy. More weights and sends it into right field. Lucas Moore has reached all three times on an error, hit by pitch, and now a single compared to last year. Benson with a high fly to right center. Ranky under it, maybe some trouble, it falls. Moore was starting to retreat, he had to, and now on to second, and Benson safe at first. Be the first priority, and I think Ranky was giving way. Now it's Matt Klein. That is stabbed at second by Constantine. It pops to his feet 
for a fabulous play. Saves a run and gets it out. Ball dropped in the outfield. But Napleton crushes this. Left field towards the wall, and it's down. This will give Louisville the lead. And the Division II transfer with the biggest hit early of his Louisville career. This game seven. Eddie King has a hit. And Napleton's coming around. Throw from left has no chance, and Louisville extends the lead. Was robbed of a single, double single, as King is running, bouncing the throw by DeJohn, cuts down King to end the inning. Another fine throw. Keelan ends that small slump. And the pitch from Roggenberg. Is a breaking ball lifted out to left field. Wind is gusting that way. Back to the track, to the wall. Zion Rose with his first career home run. It's a Rose rocket to give Louisville an 8-4 lead. Make sure you touch third base, Zion Rose, because you're on your way to touching home plate. As Moore sends it fair. Just inside of the line, and Karamine into the St. Bonaventure bullpen. Two freshmen with consecutive extra base hits. And Benson sends it up the middle. Moore will score with ease. The throw from center field cut off. Benson stays at first, and Louisville is up by five. See what you did? Matt Klein goes to shortstop. Funky hop over to Marshall, and he's safe. Benson hustling, Marshall thought he could cruise into second, and the inning stays alive. Napleton charges another, center field, back to the track, and Vossen got under it. Draft kind of stuff. Grab ball to second base, Alisea bobbles and can't recover. Unusual by the standards they've set this season. Harrison Kaufman sends it high out to center field. This is pushing Moore back to the track, and it one hops the wall. Ranky will head to third. Took a bounce over. It is a ground rule double for Kaufman. Putney to first. McCoy will take the out, give up the run. It is now nine to five. Four errors on Louisville today, and that did just get to John as he tried to duck out of the way. It is the heat, and Little lifts it down the line, fair. Holcraft is hustling. He will stop at third, but another one scored for St. Bonaventure to creep back into the game. Ground ball in the infield. Koger can take his time. He does, and he completes the inning. Keelan first pitch swinging. Begion's first chance. And air mails the throw. And Keelan will hustle on to second base after a terrible bounce. Off the Louisville dugout. I think maybe that confidence has buoyed them here today. And Beard has his first hit. The cards will reach double figures as Keelan comes on home. Logan Beard starting just two for 18. Maybe that sparks a streak for the senior captain. And he cracks this into left to keep the inning alive. Lippy now has a hit in all three games that he's played this series. Absolutely. A lot of depth at each position. Moore lays down the bunt, gonna be tough and too tough for Putney. Finally, Louisville gets a bunt to drop for a single. A guy in his position. And Benson smokes it to center, but right at Vossen. And he softly lays this one in right. Plenty of hits today for St. Bonaventure. Back-to-back -back games with 10. That he'll want back. Another soft single for St. Bonaventure. And Tarner stops at second. Ground ball left side. Keelan's going to have a tough play to make. He's got a gun, but it's not in time. It was in between him and Beard. Still nobody gone, and St. Bonaventure's within three. It's a fastball, and it's right back to Campbell. Oh, he lost it, and that's going to score a run with no out for St. Bonaventure. It looked like an easy play, but then he ducked out of the way. Ball four. Bases now loaded. 
Ground ball up the middle, and there's the single. Marshall is getting the stop sign with more coming up to throw. So St. Bonaventure gets one. They choose not to go for the tie here. It is 10 to nine. Fastball for strike three. That is a big one for Campbell. Fastball is lifted into right field. It is down. The throw to the plate on one hop. It gets by Napleton. St. Bonaventure leads. Putney scores the go-ahead run, and the Bonnies in stunning fashion have rallied to take the edge. Strike three. A five spot for St. Bonaventure has come back to take the lead. It is up in a leadoff walk drawn by Ryan McCoy in his first plate appearance today. Ball four. Keeland into right field. Will McCoy go? Yes, he will. The throw is going towards third, and Humphrey reaches safely. Keeland delivers, and the cards have tied it. And a ground ball right side. He's clutch again. Louisville leads. Keelan to third. Humphrey scores. Cards back in front. As Alisea sends it out to left field, wind is gusting. This is over his head. Alisea with an extra base hit. And Beard's hustling around third. The freshman with the biggest hit of his young career. Scores two more. And it's 14 to 11 Louisville. Lippy takes a walk. He continues to have a great start. It's going to be Moore. As Moore sends home Alisea. 15 to 11 Louisville. Answering the five spot of St. Bonaventure with one of their own. Benson takes his second walk of the day to load the bases again. McCoy smashes it. Right field and loops into the glove of Ranky. That will drive home another. McCoy narrowly missing a grand slam, but he does extend the Louisville lead to 16 to 11. This is out to right center field, slicing into the gap, towards the wall and off the wall. Moore scores, Benson right behind, Napleton with another two RBI hit. He says, let's keep it rolling. And Louisville is in front, 18 to 11. I think all the batters are really going to like their averages after this one. <laughs> hey, our guys have some fight, which is good to see. And Keelan with a ground ball to second. Nucci with a very nice play to end an inning. Late on. Ground ball right side for Vossen off Biven, and Biven covering. He's a really good athlete. Coaching 17 years in junior college at Herkimer as Ranky. Sends this in the air, and in the sun, Moore can't make the play. That has given players all types of fits, and now Ranky will head on to third with Benson backing up. And Ranky at third. Swing and a miss. St. Bonaventure down to its last out. And he is building this program, sending them in the right direction. As Marshall flies it out to left. Benson makes the catch, and Louisville wins the series. A wild, wacky Sunday game ends in a seven-run win for Louisville in which they score eight runs in the eighth. All the different celebrations out and a win nonetheless.